Okay, so today we're gonna do some um, configuration for the stream hub. I've already showed you how to download it. If not, then I'll put the video description in the link below. So let's go ahead and get it started. Right now we're still working on Kodi 17.3. All right, so for those who missed the last video, Stream Hub is it's just like uh, the rest of the apps, um, Covenant and Elysium. Does all the same stuff except for the IPTV service on here is pretty dang good. All right, so inside of movies, there's a certain way I like to have all my stuff set up, and right now it's not set up the exact same way for Stream Hub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the maintenance, open add-on settings. Okay, so in uh, in general, and then you're on the playback. So right here where it says default action, uh, that's what happens when you press the select button for a movie or a TV show. It goes to the directory to where you have to provide or pick another source. I like to put this on autoplay. Okay, progress dialog. That shows you um, the process that it's doing. It comes up on the screen. It tells you how many seconds, how many remaining sources. Let's go ahead and put that in the background. And unless you're working on, well, unless you're receiving a 4K stream and you have a 4K device, whether it be computer monitor, projector, or TV, then there's really no point in looking for 4K. So 1080p is the highest I like to set mine to and then you also have your hosts with captures most of the captures are just that um, when you select a source and it tells you to go to www whatever and you know sync it up in order to be able to watch this video I don't like any of that so I normally turn that off all right so then once I do that I just go over here and I select OK so let's go back up here to to movies and then show you a, a sample of all of the items we just did. So let's just go with trending. And I try not to pick anything that's <clears throat> too new for 2017 because as they're working on sources, then it'll get better. So let's find something a little bit older. Okay, Hacksaw Ridge has been out for a while. Up here in the upper right hand corner, you see where it's operating in the background where 86% remaining providers 4, 3, 3. So it's still finding the providers for us. One remaining provider, I can actually show you how to speed that up as well too. All right, and as you see, it, it comes right up. And we're viewing this one, I believe, in 720p. Fast forward, rewind, all that good stuff. So let's go back. So you go back down to to the maintenance area. Open add-on settings. So I guess there's XXX on here. I've never messed around with it. I'll leave it alone. But anyway, so let's go to playback. And then instead of background, let's put that in the foreground. And then we'll hit OK. So now what I did was, so now I can see exactly um, what's holding us up so let's just go to years this time 2016 all right message from the king never saw this movie so right here so now it's in the front so it's showing us the time elapsed the remaining providers and then sometime eventually it'll, it'll show you the actual name of the remaining providers. 
So we also need to change the time elapsed. So if it's taking this long, you can always just go ahead and hit cancel instead of waiting the full 30 seconds and it'll still find the best um, audio and video for you without having to select it for yourself. As you can see, it comes right up and you can fast forward and wind and all the way to go ahead and change the time that it's searching. I know on Covenant and Elysium, it would be in here somewhere. So let's just go to to general if it wants us to set up a password we will yes I'm the only one on, on this device so that's a sufficient password password has been set okay so let's see so playback it's not in here counts download subtitles so there's no way to change it inside of uh, stream hub there's definitely a way to do it inside of Elysium and Covenant. But it also works for TV shows as well. So let's just see what's popular. For some reason everybody's watching this, I'll check this show out too. I hear that this is a pretty good show. And let's just pick a random episode to see how long it takes. So it's looking at the providers. We have two providers remaining. I wish it would show me which providers were remaining so that I could um, stop those providers. But it took 10 seconds. Sitting there, that's just how it is. So like I said, once again, Stream Hub is a pretty good alternative if you're just looking for something extra to put. Uh, onto your Kodi device uh, if you're not using a build if you're not running anything with a build so if you have any questions on stream hub leave them down below and hopefully that helps you out with some of the configuration